Today I want to tell you about a bunch of really useful free tools that are part of my design process. This video right here is another in my Tech for Designers series. I've already made videos about the hardware that I use and about the design software subscriptions that I use as part of my process, but today I want to tell you about a bunch of really cool little free things that maybe you might find useful to add to your process as well. The first one is a little app called Paparazzi. This is used for taking full page screenshots of websites. As part of my process when I'm working with a developer on a site being built, when I want to give feedback I like to take a full screenshot using Paparazzi of the site in its build mode and then I upload it to Envision and click in places to leave comments and feedback for the developer. It's a really useful way of doing it and Paparazzi is how I take those screenshots. All you have to do is put a link in and it'll take the image for you and you can change the size of it as well. So this is how I get images of what the site looks like on mobile, on tablet and on a desktop. Next up is a little tool that lives in my top bar. It's a color picker and it's called Sip. The purpose of this tool is that you can click anywhere on your screen and it'll give you a color code for whatever you clicked on. So it's really useful if you see a nice color used on a website and you don't want to bother going into the dev tools to figure out what it was. Sip can help you out with that. When you click on a color as well, it automatically saves the hex code or whatever you've set as the default to your clipboard as well, making it really easy to go ahead and use that color in your own design. Next is a Chrome extension that I find myself using when I really like a font that I've seen used on another website, and that is What Font. When you have this extension selected, you just have to click on a piece of text on a website and it'll load this little window telling you all the details about what font you're looking at, what size it is, what color it is. It's really useful. You could find out all this information, of course, by going into the developer tools, but it's much easier to just do it this way. Next up, two tools you already know about if you watched my last video about exporting assets for web, but they deserve a mention in here too. These are two tools for compressing images. The first one is an app called ImageOptim. This is really handy because you just have to drag an image file into it and it'll compress the heck out of it. It'll then just save over your original file with one that is a lot smaller, but still good quality. The next one you could use for this is TinyPNG. Now, like I said in my last video, I end up not using this one so much anymore, but this is a really handy website that you can just drag an image up to and it's going to compress it a lot for you. Then you can download it and use that asset in your website. I prefer Image Optimum because it does the whole saving over the original thing, whereas with this one you have to download the image and then find it in your downloads folder again, but still, it's a really useful tool. The next one is Toggle, and this is an app for time tracking. I quite like tracking my time because it gives me a view of how long I'm spending on each project, and time tracking is especially important for client projects because you want to make sure, even if you're not billing by the hour, that you're aware of how long the project is taking so that maybe you can learn for next time if you haven't quite scoped it out right. There's many time tracking tools out there, but Toggle is my favorite because I like how it's designed and I like its option to have categories and add clients, etc. The next one is also related to time. It's an app called Focus Keeper. Now I debated whether or not to include this because it does actually cost £1.49 in the UK app store, so it's probably like 99 cents in the US one, but it's so cheap that it's almost free. So I thought that it could fit into this video. I really love using this to focus my time, hence its name. I use something called the Pomodoro technique when I really want to find some focus on a project. It's basically a technique of working where you work solidly for 25 minutes with no interruptions and then you have a five minute break to deal with all that checking Twitter and making a cup of tea that you wanted to do during those 25 minutes. So it's a really good way of working, it works out well for me and Focus Keeper is a really nicely designed app that helps you keep a timer on this. And if you are opposed to paying for an app that will do that, then you can use the website Tomato Timer to do the same thing, but I just prefer the way Focus Keeper keeps track of how many you've done in a day, etc. and I like its notifications. This last one is gonna be really handy if you're like me and find yourself constantly running out of hard drive space. It's called Omnidisk Sweeper, and it's an app that sweeps your hard drive and then arranges your files in order of size. I find it really handy for figuring out which folders files are in that are sucking up a lot of gigabytes on my hard drive so I can go in and delete them or move them to a backup if necessary. Those are all the tools that I have to tell you about today, but I hope there's something in there that you might find useful to add into your design process. And if you've got anything like this that you think I might like or you know find useful to know about, then leave that down below in the comments because this can go both ways, you know. Thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. The best way to support my channel, because I don't run ads on these videos, is to go ahead and check out my online store and pick yourself up a t-shirt or a notebook or a print. I design them all myself and in the case of the t-shirts I print them myself too, so I'm really proud of them and I think you'll like them. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!